Okay, so this video is going to be sporadic and everywhere. <laughs> so first and foremost, if if you don't already know, Zen Atman can do live streams again, so be tuning in to that guy. Uh, I, I just finished, wait, he had to say and put out about, ooh, uh, the blood work, the plasma, the, uh, the fil filtration system, and I mean, ultimately, as within, so without, is what he was, was getting at there. And, uh, those three videos were, were fucking amazing, dude. <laughs> they, uh, they felt good to resonate with. And that, that's, you know, a big thing about, uh, Zen Atman. And, yes, I'm making another fucking video with Zen, uh, being the focal point here. But, uh, it's for a good reason, and it's for appreciation and, uh, respect of an acknowledgement of resonance. And the words, absolutely, but, but beyond the words, definitely, the... The vibration, the the cadence, the tonalities, and the navigations where someone decides to take a certain subject. This is how I in integrate, navigate. <laughs> I just engage with people. I... I let them, I allow them to show me themselves. And this is the beauty with um, a lot of us who are speaking now and com coming out of the woodwork so to speak coming out into the fray to put our two cents in and no matter who you are uh it's always much appreciated uh no matter what you may think no matter what you may uh be led to believe You are very much appreciated for putting yourself out there. Even even if you think that you need to delete your channel, delete all your content or whatever, uh, you know you you do you, and that's, and that's fine. But you're very much appreciated, and your vibration has been felt. Heard and understood. So thank you for being you. Thank you very much. You've helped not only yourself by allowing yourself to expand and grow, but you've helped everyone else in that process to do that for themselves. So that's fucking golden. That's that's, that's fucking magical. So yes, yeah, yes, let's, let's get back to the focus, the focal point, which is obviously not, <laughs> oh, oh, gosh. Whenever I uh, make videos with certain people as my focal points, I, 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 I'm doing so because of inspiration, because of, uh, well, hmm. The synchronicities that happen, like, a lot of these, like, 
a lot of the people that I watch or engage with, um, you guys will say things that I have been thinking, and, and it's, it's like, how the fuck? <laughs> but it's like, of course, at the same time, and it's like, hell yes, let's keep this going, people. A lot of people come to mind whenever I say that, like, most of the people that I engage with, with, with you guys, like, Even even if I go through certain modes or modalities of beingness and allowing my my barriers and my shield to come up again, but then realizing how that's fruitless, dissolving that again, reintegrating, allowing the process to happen. Clarity is always king and key, and is always going to be the key to your freedom. If if you have been enslaved or, or have the feeling of being bogged down by something or, or being under the standing of something rather than inner standing for yourself, <sighs> okay. Nope. I'm gonna have to turn the volume up. Okay, so let's go. Very much adjustable like that. It just depends on your harmonics and, and what you're eating and consuming and looking at and, and all that shit. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, uh, Griff. Yeah, as above, so below. So yeah, I would say it exactly the opposite, just like you did. So as below, so above. So what's in the middle? One? As below, so above. That's yeah. I mean, and this is the shit that I fucking say and think about and, and whatnot. So uh, the synchronicities with a lot of you guys that I engage with, like, and just the the mental sphere, like. And not even engage with on like a direct communication level, but just on a, uh, you, you can call it astral, you can call it a subtle level, but really it's a heartfelt level. So whenever that heartfelt connection is engaged with, you have a heartfelt connection with someone, uh, whether or not you're in their presence, if you take the time and, and say like a, a moment of silence, a moment of meditation, a moment of stillness, and you hone in on these feelings. You may or may not be very surprised by the outcome, which is that we all feel this, especially the ones that we connect with on a very deep level. And and we we come to realize that we're we're not as alone as what we may have thought with our endeavors, with our moments in silence and stillness where we are just alone with the all that is. But then we come to <laughs> have an engagement and many more engagements with people who are having similar or the exact same resonances happening. And the magic just continues to unfold. It's very beautiful to witness and experience the gnosis, the learning from the self experience allowing the teachings and the awareness to happen as they will do not try to dictate any kind of outcome but just allow it 
to encourage fruition and growth of love and <laughs> the awareness of what real really is, what you really are. So yes, as above, so below. As below, so above. Because, uh, like I have been telling people recently, is, uh, we're, we're, we're fucking all tubes, dude. So your lower tubes, uh, how you ingest and digest and assimilate, is going to dictate your upper tubes, your fucking brain. Because the clearer the lower is, the clearer the higher sphere is going to be. As below, so above. And the middle, is which what Zen just said, is as within your middle, as, as within, so without. What you are is what you're going to reflect and attract to you, of course. This isn't always going to be the case. Of course, we're not always going to be super conscious and aware of how this is the case, but really, it is always the case. It's just how aware of you are. <laughs> how aware are you of? Just how much this is real. And you will come to experience this for yourself more and more. The clearer you get within. Clear the bowels out. Clear the septic tank. Clear the sewage pit out. Clear your mind. Whenever people ask me, why do you fast so much? It's because, and I answer them, first and foremost, it's, it's the mental clarity. Experience it within, and it will come to you in layers and pieces and ways that you are able to comprehend what is going on within and without. The barrier, the bridge will build itself, and this is the thing that we have to come to really engage with, is the bridge will build itself when we allow it to happen within ourselves, when we allow the connections within and thus without to happen more and more and manifest more and more, to engage the process, allow it, recognize it for what it is, engage it. Griff, yes. Um, go to, go to the astral plane, collect all the knowledge. Yes, that's possible. I mean, isn't that what they? Isn't that what they talk about? Going to the um, akashic records. Akashic records are a little more. De okay, before he goes more into the akashic records, but he, he is very accurate with, with what he's saying right there. Oh yes. Deeper than that. Yes, you did. Mm. He was talking about uh, how someone someone was responding to the astrals. Go to the astrals, get all the answers. And uh, he said yes, and I say yes, and uh, we say yes, but we also say I also say he also says. Of course, I'm assuming, but I, I'm also assuming that we feel things on a very similar vibration that your perspective of what the astrals are is going to need some work. It's going to need some integration to happen, some engagement, a lot of engagement, so that you realize the layers, the subtleties, and the more denser layers of what this is. And you get good, quote unquote good, more efficient at it, the more you engage it. So, 
whenever you engage quote unquote the astrals there are many layers to this you can do so in a type of daydream and the effectiveness of this is going to be dependent upon as with everything the feeling the level of feeling with this how real it feels to you and we can be completely submerged in the quote unquote astral to where this feels more real than quote unquote real what we normally think of as real but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to have the effectiveness the pull that other layers will have Sometimes we save certain <laughs> certain experiences for certain layers and certain feelings, certain engagements for other layers. I I equate it to a uh, a knowingness through taste. There's a certain distinct feeling and taste or a quality of the depth of astral that you think you may be in it's 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 all about feeling you feel your way through these densities and yes you can have uh inception upon inception upon inception of astral planes of dreamscape planes But it's always going to come back to the felt experience. So we and and how much you can separate that from your own imagination from what you create. You have to be able to separate your creative realm from actual you know what has been created, the realm that is. And then separate that from the realm that you always create. It's a, it's a distinction. You have to really get clear on the distinction with it, with the astral. And then you can start to dive in a little bit deeper. And then you will find new layers and new barriers that have been set up from long ago. And then you have to navigate your way into and through those as well. So that you can potentially, maybe, eventually come to a point where you can go into the astral and see things for how they really are on the actual essential level. And really be able to taste the distinction between what you are creating or imagining and what is the imagining or the the mind you have to be able to come you have to <laughs> bleh, you have to be able to distinguish between your mind and the mind between your influence and the influence that is all of our influences combined astral plane because the Akashic records is basically like access all points what do you want where the um, astral plane is more like, okay, you can dip in out of time, you can go different spaces, you can see things. Yeah, you can, but would you really want to go to the conscious records? Would you like to know everything all the time? It would get really fucking bored. Oh, man. I stopped a little too soon. Absolutely. And there are, uh, Many things you can engage with. Uh, there are certain types of video games. One video game, and I don't really play video games nowadays. As much as... Uh, actually, I haven't for a long time. And I used to really be into them. 
but anymore I'm more engaged with fighting <laughs> ideas and concepts and engaging with that essences and energies and remembrances and encouraging remembrances with people who are very unique and very special but of course we all are <laughs> very unique and very sp special but um, only a certain amount of people nowadays engage this and um, encourage this within themselves so that's the kind of people that I wish to uh, encourage and engage and remind and help empower each other but there are, are there are many uh, ideologies animes movies uh, games one game that comes to mind that I've played is uh, Dragon's Dogma <laughs> and there's no coincidences here people if you haven't realized this already but eventually you get to the point where you become like a god type figure where you reign over everything and it you you realize just how boring it is from actually going into the experience for being totally immersed in the experience and, and not necessarily how the experience was created you don't choose to dissect, and this is, comes down to scientism, like, in, in the uh, parasite of scientism. You don't choose to dissect how the little machinations work. You choose to experience it for what it is and just be in love with it and just engage it and see where it takes you and not try to control it. <laughs> that's, that's what it's really about, people. That's how you flow. That's how you become a, a surfer within your tubular system. Surf those waves. So yeah, the Akashic Records is... And I'm speaking from someone who... Uh, this isn't like an ego thing like i i've been there like i am there because once you've been to somewhere you are there like you just you are everything of course but once you experience it once you you have it always the question is do you realize this or do you think that you have to keep taking whatever it is that helps you get you there potentially if that's how you engage that experience and you keep taking that substance or that thing or engaging that way that method that modality to help get you there or do you realize the message hey like this is within you always all you have to do is remember how to get there yourself and then you don't need anything outside of you because you realize it's all within you it's all within all of us And yeah, this is <laughs> this is all over the place. This is a, maybe a little sloppy, whatever. That's how it is. So the Akashic Records, just it. Okay, this is what I liken it to. It, it, it's a tapestry of the human experience. So within this uh, tapestry, that's constantly being woven by every individual at all times so um, if you're into um, crochet or you know weaving and creating uh, things through lines or strings or webs this is what the Akashic Record is, is a webbing, a living tapestry of the human experience. But, like, like Zen is saying, like, if you have, if you constantly have access to this, then there's no fucking fun, you just know everything. So, 
uh, like what's the point at that point? But there are also boundaries and barriers and things set up so that you cannot constantly experience that. And if you do, you have to uh, go out of this realm so that, you know, <laughs> yeah. So that you don't ruin it for everyone else. <laughs> Basically. That's the point of life, is, is you, you bore the fuck out of yourself to know everything always. <laughs> yeah. And you're surprised, I mean, this is not what Alan Watts talks about. You, you became God, you sat there on the highest pedestal, and you're like, I can see all things. And then you got like, you're like, well, push your button, surprise me. Exactly. And all of a sudden, here you are. Surprise! Surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> and here you are. So, yeah, I mean... It is definitely co the collective unconscious or the collective, um, I, I don't want to call it the hive mind, but it's kind of like um, uh, Rupert, Sheldra uh, Rupert Sheldrake's yes. work yes. on how homing pigeons work. Yes. And the way that he, it's called morphogenetic resonance. I believe it's called morphogenetic resonance. Yes. The way they're able to, to use universally everyone's eyesight to see the whole landscape, so they always knew where they were. It's vibration. Yes. What's up, Giants Tartary? Ah, hmm? uh, new here, are you? <laughs> First day back, man. I haven't been here for a little bit. Had a couple months off. Good to see you. <laughs> Culture comes from genetics. Ooh, brutality, we'll do this another time. Lamp. This was something that really stimmed me to make this, make that comment. And then eventually, like, Zen gets it, like, to it, to it here, which is just, uh, what he, what that person is saying, it, it's the opposite, which, which is, like, language, especially the English, English language, uh, it's the opposite. <laughs> It is where the truth is. And especially with that. Because uh, genetics is a mentality. It's something that you've been led to believe. And that's not the case. Culture is something that uh, is created. So like essentially what you're saying is. The establishment and the indoctrinated culture creates the genetics, and yeah, that's unfortunately the case. But uh, what fortunately is also the case here is that the disestablishment and uh, freedom of people engaging with what's truly inside themselves is creating a genetic that's fastly spreading faster than uh, the, the bullshit they're pumping into the air, the bullshit they're pumping uh, into people through vaccines. This is a resonance that's happening, people. So uh, there's no escaping this. There's no running or hiding or uh, burying your heads in the sand. Like You're going to have to face this one way or another, and it's up to you how you decide to... Engage it or react to it. Uh, we're at a place where it's already too late to uh, want to choose the safety route. <laughs> and if you do, there's going to be plenty of us that are going to uh, remind you that... The ideologies that you have been led to believe are pure bullshit. And we are going to help you recreate your con scripts that you've been conned into a scripting for yourselves.
um, be it me, be it whoever, be it, you know, whatever, what you're going to witness very soon and immediately if you so choose to engage that and look into that is the strongest among us do not need things. We don't need protein <laughs> to get strong. We don't need the safety net. We don't need to engage with false doctrines and dogmas and ideologies that want to enslave and encapsulate your mentality so that you fall back on scripts that you may have been led to believe are there to help you. They are not. They are there to succubus and incubus and vampire your energy and your essence away so that you become dependent upon these scripts and conscripts and like in my last video I said and was titled, You Are the Mag Magic Magi, the, <laughs> the Magi that sees. In every moment you create your reality, whether you think it to be or not, this is always the case. So get privy, get get with it, get with the script, get with what you are doing to yourself, and ultimately what you're doing to all of us. Feel it, realize what you are truly feeling. And then get clear on what you really desire. What do you really want? Get clear. Get real. And that's how you get free. If, if you think that you need to get free. But I mean, there's no such thing as free or an enslaved mentality. There's just isness. There's just beingness. What do you choose? Make it real. You do so whether you realize it or not. So wake up to it, what you are creating. Feel it, be it, know it, see it clearly. Peace.